Hello everyone, and in this video I'll be showing you how to add an RSS feed from your Google Blogger, so that's Blogspot, to your all top advertising account. So first of all, let's do, go through a few things first. Now, Blogspot is an equivalent to WordPress, it's a blogger site done by Google. So you can have a free domain, which is blogspot.com, or you can have a custom one. So that is number one. Number two is the Alltop site. Alltop enables you to advertise your blog. So you can choose a number of blogs which you want to assign to your Alltop account. And then you can add your blog to your account. So the blogs that you have assigned can see your your blog material and can interact which will hopefully get more which will hopefully get more viewers to your blog so this can be a bit of a difficult thing to do so we'll just go through things one at a time in this video so if you haven't already got a blog on Blogspot, you'd need to create one, of course. I've already got a blog, which is called The Chromebook Guy. So once you're on the site, you need to navigate to your blog. And then where I'm focusing now, you need to click on the contextual menu. Copy, save, copy link and copy the link address which you'll need later then you'd need to go to the layout section and to enable you to achieve the link to the all top you need an RSS feed but because blogspot doesn't have an RSS feature you'd need to have you'd need to add the RSS gadget. So you need to click add gadget. And then Hang on a bit. So you need to go to the feed section and you need to add that. And then once you've added the feed, you need to configure it. So remember, the we copied the address to the clipboard earlier on. We need to paste that and continue. So you'll come up with your blog name, so which is the Chromebook guy, and then you can choose to configure how many posts that people see at a time when they click on your RSS feed. You can choose to have item dates. And you can open links in new window. We'll probably click that. And that Firefox thing is a link that I have already. No, not a link, a post that I've already posted on the blog. So that's what people will see when they click on your RSS. And to copy the RSS feed, you'd need to click on the change feed URL so you've got microbook.blogspot.com slash feed slash posts by default so you can see that the RSS feed has done its own thing so when adding your site to the all top account your previously copied address will no longer be valid Okay, so that's part one now. So if you click on the link to part two, we'll be showing you how to add it to your all top account. So see you in part two. 